actually, you don't have to wash alpaca, do you, or llama? Not, I usually wait till after it's in the yarn. I'll blow out the dust, and then I'll process it, and then I'll usually wash it after it's into a yarn. Right? And so our thing is called From Hoof to Hand Spun and Beyond. So what we plan on doing is to show people step-by-step step the process. You're going to shear the animal, then we'll show them how to separate the different fibers, right? We'll take the different areas of the animal, it'll go in different piles. The prime stuff will be put in an area where we're either going to spin it. There's no waste. You'll take the second cuts and some of the other fibers in the different area of the bodies. As long as it's clean, it'll be used for felting and rug hooking and some other things. So everything gets used pretty much. Right. So we're going to show the people how to do that. And actually, we might even have a station set up where you can help us. <laughs> I'm hoping to, uh, we're going to yeah. enlist yeah. The people to help sort and pick and card. Right. And so also what we plan on doing is to show you how uh, you can take that fiber and use it for wet felding or for needle felding. Or you can take the fiber and you can card it with combs or with hand carters or a drum carter. Or you can even fel uh, make yarn just on your thigh. So you're going to be able to get a sample of all these things and dyeing and anything else that we're planning. Was it done? Mm -hmm. Lots of other That's thoughts? the part of the beyond that I'm thinking right now. We've got the spinning, weaving, needle felting, rug hooking, knitting, crocheting. Mm -hmm. Whatever you can do with your hands and fiber, right. we're pretty much going to try to right. get it. And we're really excited about this. We can't wait. So, uh, Oh, yeah. So, Karen, tell them again. What is the date? May 30th, which is a Saturday. It'll be from 10 o'clock in the morning till noon with a break, an hour break. Then back at 1 till 4. And then we'll do the uh, a lot of the beyond in the afternoon. Oh, and we'll probably have some drawings and some... Oh, definitely so. They'll be, everybody will be able to take home some kind of fiber. We'll have a great... Um, yeah, everybody's going to get a little kit. A li not a little kit, but a little, a little a sample, sample pack of stuff home, to take okay? home. And we will have kits for sale for the different projects. We'll also have a schedule to sign up for some of the classes if any of the techniques you're interested in learning more. And we are going to have a grand prize drawing, which will be actually a free class of your choice um, for one of the techniques that you want to learn about. Okay, and some of the classes we'll have just, just off the top of our head would be maybe a spinning class, a needle felding, wet felding... Uh, rug cooking, um, spinning with the, a spindle, spindle or with a spinning wheel if you have right. one. And if somebody is interested in how to clean and take care of the fibers and process to get to that point, we can have a fiber prep day as well. Absolutely. And dyeing. Dyeing, definitely. A We've dying been hunting day. the woods now, <laughs> gathering lichen up for the yes. day. We're going to be dyeing with natural. Okay. That kind of sums up what we're going to be doing on our first annual fiber day. And this is the first, guys. We yep. have more to come. Hope you join us. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Well, you got a few flaws.